Hello, I'm Leroy Garcia. I'm the owner of Blue Rain Gallery, and this is Blue Rain Gallery podcast. Welcome. Um, today, I was thinking for the podcast of talking a little bit about more of the journey of Blue Rain Gallery as far as being innovative versus imitated. And I consider the business aspect of this journey no different than an artist's aspect of this journey uh, in the fact that to really stand out in business or as an artist, you have to find ways to do things differently. I'll give you an example. There are, there are hundreds of thousands of landscape painters out there, but the ones that rise to the top are the ones that find ways to do it differently. Um, what does this have to do with business? Well, the same. When I first started my journey with Blue Rain Gallery, uh, we were doing uh, snail mail as far as marketing and, and getting information to people. So what we would do is we'd get a painting in, like so, and we'd get a, a, a camera with film. We'd take a shot of it. We'd have to go get the film process, then that would wait a little bit, like a day. And then we'd write a letter and put it in the mail. Or we would FedEx it if we wanted to do this in a fast way. And uh, boy, that was hard thinking about uh, back then. And I'm talking about the early 90s. Uh, but you can go back further because that's how we, we did business. That's how we sold to clients year round and uh, th reaching throughout the country or, or the world. Um, and then we'd wait another 24 hours, you know, and a, a, to generate a cell might take a week and, um, compared to today. And let's talk about that journey about today. I remember in 1994, 95, having a conversation, uh, with the gallery, uh, that was representing Tammy at the time. And I was saying, you know, what about this internet? Isn't there any way for us to use this for sales? And I remember the, the owner of the gallery saying, you know, that's, there's no way, it's just not possible. And I was like, are you sure, are you sure? And anyways, a few years passed, uh, we, we went our separate ways. But around 94, 95, around the time of that conversation, I'm like, I had started my gallery, I didn't represent Tammy at the time, but I was like, I'm going to try this internet. So in 94, 95, Blue Rain Gallery started its first internet page. And in the beginning of those years, um, the internet page was just a page, it was an information page. There was, it was hard to get interaction, it was hard for us to uh, introduce new imagery without going through a webmaster, which was just as frustrating as writing the letters and taking the pictures and developing the film and waiting for people to get back to you. We kept playing around with this around 2000. I figured out how to use the web in an interactive way. And I, I sat down with our webmaster and, and we came up with a way for our staff to integrate imagery as soon as it came in. And also, we developed um, a system of interaction with the clients. And the way we did that was develop what we called a quick inquire. And uh, so people could enter their email address and get the price submitted to them immediately. And that pretty much did away with all the film photography. And this is also the digital age of camera and technology as well. That, just that simple, innovative thought of how to make a, a website interactive put Blue Rain Gallery ahead of the curve by about 10 years from the rest of our competitors or, or people in our genre. It really it led to huge growth of the gallery. Around 2000, the time I'm figuring out how to use the web, I, I started buying all these dot-coms. I was like, oh, the dot-coms were here and everybody's buying dot-coms. And I started a new business called uh, Blue Rain Print Shop. And at that time, uh, the goal of the Blue Rain print shop was to take an original painting like this and making a copy of it and producing it in a high format. And at that time, G. Clay printing had just started to, to go. The business started doing okay. The problem was that people weren't buying the originals anymore, they were buying the prints. So I disbanded that business. 
Um, fast forward to this year in March, right in the middle of COVID when it was impacting our country. Well, all those dot coms they bought into two, in 2000 had expired and were wanting to be renewed. And I didn't renew all of them, uh, but I, I did pay attention to the Blue Rain print shop and thought, you know what, let's, let's revisit this idea, but in a different way. Talk about innovation again, right? You just find ways to be different. And so I knew that replicating imagery and trying to sell it in a higher end format was tricky. And in fact, it was destructive to the original. But I had been noticing artists throughout America with their imagery, uh, using their imagery to print on things like coffee mugs or skateboards, t-shirts, uh, whatever that you can think of. And I was like, whoa, you know what? Blue Rain Gallery has access to a lot of imagery and a lot of great talent, and especially younger talent that's uh, trying to climb up the ladder. Uh, a lot of this younger talent is in the native genre of what we do, but, and they're mostly graphic. So we decided, let's do this. Let's create a company that will use the imagery uh, for anything. So if you go to blu-rayprintshop.com now, you will find uh, puzzles and and purses and uh, suitcases, almost anything you can imagine. And this will keep growing and generating over the years. And the reason we did this as well is to cross market, especially with these up and coming artists, giving them a platform for money because it's, it's really a struggle for them when they're starting out to have a cash flow. And this, uh, this lets them have a little bit of access to cash flow, but it also, gives them name recognition. And what we've noticed just in the few short days, uh, there has been a good crossover from those artists into the Blue Rain platform. In fact, we've sold a couple of originals from these artists. Their, their imagery, because it is graphic, it, it can go on anything. And um, I, I think in, in, a, in a frame setting in a gallery, you don't appreciate it as much, but now you, you really do. You see the, the vision that, that these folks have. Uh, some of it's humorous, some of it's just design work. Uh, in the native spectrum, it, it also has double messaging. It has the message that the artist is trying to convey about their heritage or the, the journey of, of their heritage to the place where they're at now. And I, I, I say that thinking about Breeze Marcus or uh, Chris Papan uh, in particular. And then uh, really funny stuff with, with uh, uh, Larry Blissett. Yeah, because this stuff, um, it, it's, it's raw, but it's, it's awesome. It's, um, it can, <laughs> everybody can appreciate it. It's, and, uh, it's, it's not lowbrow. It, there's a lot of thought behind this, even though this is a dog biting the leg. <laughs> but it's, it's really cool imagery, and it's something that we can utilize in many, many different ways. And I say that without devaluing the originals, because that, what I'm noticing is that there is a... a focus now, return back from a printed material to the original. And uh, it, it's, it's been really cool. The other thing uh, that Blue Rain Gallery has done very well at is uh, our social media platforms, uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and even Pinterest and all, anything you can think of, we're, we're, we're crossing over and there's all these tools that we've been utilizing. And, and they've really come into play, especially now during COVID times where it gives us access to a lot of uh, clientele that we normally wouldn't have access to. It also gives us the opportunity to keep in touch with people in an immediate way. Uh, and it's been a, a really good part of our growth. Go to our websites, blueraingallery.com, also blueraingprintshop.com or our, our Instagram page or our Facebook. Uh, and encourage you to subscribe to the podcast. They've, they've been pretty uh, popular so far. Um, the next uh, podcast, I believe, is going to be on uh, Larry Blissett, who we introduced you to uh, today. I'd like to encourage you to share these with your friends and, and help these young artists or these ascending artists grow. Um, these podcasts come out every other week, and uh, we're having fun. In the future, we'll be doing podcasts with Catherine Stedham, uh, like we mentioned, Larry Bissett, uh, Nathan Bennett, and many more to come. 
Thanks for watching Blue Rain Gallery podcast.